So a few days ago, I was talking to you about these haptic headphones, the Razer Nari Ultimate Headphones. Basically, haptic headphones vibrate with action in your games or music relating to the bass. Uh, I told you I absolutely love these and I'm not going back on that because I do love these and they made me realize that I want haptic headphones for my quests. Yes or yes. Like, I think that it really enhances the game, it enhances immersion. Um, I absolutely love haptic headphones, that's what I want. However, after the first day, I started getting tons of problems. Day two, haptics weren't working. Um, it already took me a long time to set them up on day one because you have to have a PC. Uh, I had to borrow a PC and, um, and that took a long time just to use them. And day two, they stopped working. So I was messing around with them a lot. Eventually, I realized I had to plug them back into a PC, which I had to borrow and I fixed them again. Uh, but then they wouldn't charge properly. So as soon as I started playing, they ran out of battery and then they, I plugged them in and they just took hours and hours and didn't charge properly. And then the third day, they did work again. And then the fourth day, they stopped, the haptic wasn't working again. And I'm not even sure it's a fault with the headphones. I just think they're really like finickety, especially because they're mainly thought of to use with a PC. And I just think using them on a non-PC item, even though it's Android, sort of is, is, um, is a bit of a struggle. And then because they were really annoying me at this time, they started annoying, I noted other things that weren't quite convincing me. For example, obviously they're huge. So if you put your headset on, you put these on, you have to adjust them a bit, you know, mess around with them until they fit perfectly and then you get on with the game. The problem is, because I was having so many problems, I had to keep taking them off, fiddle with them, put them back on, adjust, take them off, fiddle with them, put them on, adjust, and it was starting to get on my nerves. So what I did was I looked on Google for alternative options for haptic headphones and I found the Skull Crushers. Uh, these are the Skull, Skull Candy Crusher. Evo, which is the new ones that just came out from Skullcandy. Now, I knew these were haptic, all the Crusher headphones are haptic, but they don't really advertise as haptic. They always like call it feel your bass, which is mm, feel in your bass, uh, live the fashion, fly the world. So I didn't really think much of them, but after checking reviews, these have got some tremendous reviews, especially on audio quality and the bass. So I thought, why not? So I'm gonna send back these because they really get on my nerves. And I got these. And the sound immediately is superb. It, it is better than the Razer Nari Ultimate. I'm not saying it's like incredibly better, but it is better. They're way much, much lighter. They feel great and they fit way better with your headset. You just put them on because they're much smaller and you don't have to mess around with them. You fiddle forward, backwards, and they fit a bit closer, uh, tighter. So they don't feel like they're gonna fall off. All of these are really good things, obviously. Now, the haptic feedback is not as strong. These have a much stronger haptic feedback. I have these on 50% set up on a computer, and with these on 100%, which you can change manually on the headset, which is nice because then you can adapt it to different games, they're still less haptic than these. So these are intense. I mean, you're playing games and your head's going like that, which is, really cool and i know people are like why would i want my skull to vibrate but it's just haptics it's not your actual skull like causing your brain damage or anything it's the same as when you shoot a gun with the haptic handsets it adds action excitement and that's what the haptic headsets do they add excitement to the game and if you have high quality sound along with haptic feedback it just feels amazing and that's why i know 100 percent i want haptic headphones so I was a bit disappointed that these aren't as haptic or as exciting as the razors, these ones, but the sound was better and they still had good haptics and they still fit better to the headset. Uh, so I'm just like, definitely, I'm gonna take these ones. And aside from that, I connected them with Bluetooth to the Quest, but they did have lag, so I can't use them that way. So I used them with the cable and what's the problem? They have a buzzing sound in the background when you use them with a cable, like a tzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
So what am I going to do? I'm just going to keep returning these to Amazon and getting new ones until I get a pair that actually works properly with a cable. Hopefully the next set will work, if not the one after that, if not the one after that. My opinion is that these are extremely exciting headphones and they feel amazing. However, they're a bit too big and they're potentially a massive pain. Like every time you start a game, there's a potential that you're gonna have to take them off, turn them on, take them off, put your Quest away, plug them into a computer, fiddle about with them and they might work. Or these ones, which are really simple, plug and play, turn on, turn off, control the haptics directly on here. They're just, super light and they're always going to fit easily plunk on your head over the quest and that is a lot better really than this which is huge and it's a lot of fun but due to the size you always have to sort of fiddle until they fit correctly over your quest still love these wish they worked properly wish they were a lot simpler wish they were slightly smaller these are an awesome alternative because the sound is better. The haptics are still very, very good. Not quite as good as this, but you still have that exciting vibration and the fact that you can control it and the fact that they work easily with your phone, they pair super easily, the battery lasts for ages and they're super comfortable. A big thumbs up for the Skullcandy Crusher Evo and a sad thumbs up for the Razer Nari Ultimate. Uh, hopefully one day they'll bring out a second version that's a bit more updated.